that make sense with what we got to get done in this room? Okay, as far as other players that are going to join the team. Because when we start the game, whatever game day is, August, whatever, we're going to be who we're going to be as the alignment. Okay, so you can't tell me when well, that kid just got here in August or he just got here in June and, you know, he a transfer wide receiver. He's starting for us, but he don't know the routes. Okay, I'll tell you a story real quick. Go ahead, what you got? What are the, you know, you know when the guys are going to I'm going to tell you how this works here, bud. Anybody want to help him out? No. They gonna get here when they show up. Because I heard a lot of shit that nobody's here. Okay, no quarterbacks here. We got a quarterback right now. Supposedly we getting a quarterback. That's what I thought. Supposedly two quarterbacks we were supposed to get didn't get. Trying to get another dude in. Don't know if we gonna get him in. Okay. There's another dude that's supposed to be coming. I know this. Number one is coming. Number one gonna be. We'll have a quarterback to start the game. Does that make sense? Okay. Isaiah Williams. Gatorade player of the year of Missouri. I don't ever want to count on a freshman. But I know this. If I'm in your seat, that freshman going to be ready. Okay? All right. So listen. We're going to keep these meetings under 15 minutes. Okay? We started at 34. Okay? Other thing is, you guys are So we're going to. Everybody understand? So, hey, you two guys. You see the group me? Yeah. Slide over here. So where y'all been? We just keep showing up in the locker room. Okay. Stay off that weed, man. Stay off that weed. It's bad for you. Okay. All right, so everybody understand what the expectations are in this room? You good? Okay, because I'm going to tell you right now, when we come in here, if I don't see what I want to see out of you guys, this room going to get heated. Because I'm going to call people out. I'm going to put your feet right on the fire. Because we cannot win doing what we did last year. No leadership from the team. None. And then you don't hear me calling nobody out as the leader. Everybody in this room got to lead. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. Any questions? Okay, let's go to goals. What we're going to do for now, so you guys are going to run a meeting on Thursday. Uh, on Thursday. So this meeting is voluntary. The team meeting on Thursday is going to be voluntary. But you're going to run a team meeting from now on. Okay, so someone in here is going to run a team meeting. I don't give a fuck what y'all figure out. Well, y'all figure out who the fuck's going to run it. Okay, on Thursday, we're going to do two things. We're going to get all the goals. Well, I'm sorry, we're going to take care of this on Thursday. So on this one, on Tuesday, on Thursday, everybody's going to get a goal buddy. Okay, I want a list. I don't care how you do it. I don't care what you do. But like, Kendrick, you're going to have somebody. That's going to be your dude. So ain't going to be no more random who'd you ask about your goals today. You're going to be responsible to somebody not in this room. So nobody in this room will be, well, you could be responsible to somebody in this room. I don't give a shit. It don't matter. <laughs> okay? But you understand what I'm saying. Everybody on the team is going to have one person they're responsible to for their goals. Everybody understand? Okay, so you're going to do that on Thursday. So figure out how to do it. Figure out what time that meeting is. We'll send a teamworks out, but we can't have it on the schedule. So it'll be a teamworks uh, senior meeting. There won't be none, none of us in here. Okay, so we don't run no risk of running over on two hours. Everybody good on that? You want to have that meeting every week. Okay, so you guys are going to have a chance to do what I'm doing with you with them. So if you see some shit you don't like, then you need to address it in that meeting. If you want the course of the next week to be different, then you address it in that meeting. Okay, along with your everyday address and stuff, but it's going to be an opportunity for you to call somebody out. It's going to be an opportunity for you to reward somebody. It's going to be an opportunity for you to start really grabbing a hold of the team and getting it to go the way you want it to go. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay, we got any questions with that? Okay, so there's two, four, six. I can't count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 people in here. Okay, how many freshmen we got? Like 22? No, no, but we got walk ons too. You got walk ons. We only signed 14, but we got some walk ons coming in. Okay, so what we're going to do, everybody in this room, can, and can everybody be here at 345 Wednesday? Tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow at 345. Okay? I, what you got? You got. We throw at 7. Are the freshmen going to be here? Oh, no, okay. You're fine. Oh, yeah. 345 meeting for a freshman. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, right. Relax, relax, relax. Freshman get here tomorrow. There we go. They're meeting with some yeah. other people. There we go. Okay? Right. Then they meet with me and their parents at 345. Okay. Okay? So I am going to do two sentences. You better be on time. And you better be doing the right thing. That's it. Because 
I, I don't need to tell them how what the consequences are going to be because everybody else is going to tell them that. Okay, but I'm going to tell them, look, we're not recruiting you no more. You better be on time because if you ain't, you got to come see me. And you just ask, ask around what's going to happen. Then I'm going to say, okay, here are, the, here are the 15 leaders, okay? Every one of you, we know most of the recruits, correct? Not really, Bernice. Bernice should just okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to have everybody stand up. We're going to get us a guy. Okay? That's your dude. So that dude fucking up, I'm coming to you. Okay? Because what's happened in the past, the freshman got here, and literally for two months, they was just on their own volition. They ain't got no mentorship. They ain't got nobody helping them out. They ain't got nobody trying to help them do the right thing. They don't have no direction. So what have we seen in the last two years since I've been here with the freshmen going into camp? What's happened? They fucked up. They quit. We lost like four of them in camp. We had three of them get suspended last year before the first game. Can we win like that? Do we need them to win games? Okay. Everybody understand my, my purpose in here. Okay? So everybody being here, here's what I'm going to tell you. Like, Jay, stand up. Okay, turn around. That's acceptable to come in here. Okay? Try not to come in here looking like Boo Boo the Fool because all the parents are going to be in here. I'm not going to ask you to dress up, but just, you know what I'm saying? Like, just be clean, okay? Yeah, he's fine, so just be clean, okay? All right? Like, he's, Tom here's even fine with that. Like, that's fine. Like, just be clean, because the parents going to be in. That's fine. Just don't be sweaty and wrecky, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want nobody coming here with a do-rag on. But we don't got no do-rag in here, okay? Does everybody understand that? Okay, so listen, for the freshmen, okay, you guys are going to have somebody, okay? Are you listening? No, 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 I'm not signing. You fucking do it. We're going to figure the fuck out. We're going to figure it out, okay? Because um, what I don't want to do is I don't want to sign people. I would like you to pick somebody. It don't have to be in your position group. It can be in your position group, whatever you think is best. But I'm telling you now so you can put a little thought on it between now and then, okay? Like, I'm going to tell you right now, Marquez Beeson is going to be a problem. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. I said something to him. He looked at me crazy. I'll get ready to slap the shit out of him. Okay. They're serious. Okay. So they ain't gonna have to take Marquez Beast. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna have to haze him up. Because his ass doing stupid shit already. Right, looking at me sideways. I'm like, hey homeboy, like, he like the wrong crowd. I'm like, look, you weigh 170 pounds. Okay. Uh, so you guys gonna get somebody, and we'll talk like you, you, Burtis. You guys ain't talked until this point, right? You ain't gotta be, you ain't gotta be fucking Starlock 13, you know, until the hunt on them, but you just gotta help them out, okay? You're gonna learn how to lead a little bit, and they're a lot closer in age to you, so it's gonna be a little bit harder for you. It'll be easy for Daley to say something to, to uh, Marquez, right? It ain't gonna be easy for Virtus and Connor and you and you, but then the same thing, you gotta do the right thing, right? Don't get beat up by the policeman, okay? Right, I'm gonna remind you now. I'm going to remind you, you got kicked off the team two years ago, okay? But you're in this room. You've been doing good. Virtus has been doing good. Anybody doubt what happened with Virtus? Okay? Let's, let's give Virtus a hand. Okay. How much you weigh when you came back? How much you're supposed to weigh? 313. Uh, how much did you weigh? How much did you weigh when you first sat in this room uh, back in January with us? 383. 353. Okay. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I told you this when we brought him into the room. Did I not? Did I tell you this when we brought him into the room? A bunch of dudes upstairs say he a bad apple. Right? What I say? I just say he ain't, he ain't in the right environment. Right? You see what I'm saying? So look, that's what happens when you bring a dude in like that. So I'm telling you that so you understand. Don't judge the book by a cover. Understand what's under the cover. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew he was going to do this. I knew it. I knew. When I saw you down in the weight room running 11s on the treadmill, I said, hey, he'd be fine. Okay? But we had you in no man's land. He was a He was red shirt. He was ineligible. You know what I'm saying? Everybody kind of put, wrote you off because you was a big, fat dude. Okay? We put you in here, gave you some direction. Now you acting like you should act. You're trying to go get paid, right? Okay? What do they want you to wear? Check. 115? Under 15. Oh, under 15. 115. You know, I'll be messing up the weights all the time. I only got one in my head. So everything is wood. All right, any questions? <laughs> no, no, it's resting. It's resting. Everything is wood. Like, it's always wood. Okay, any questions?
Okay, so listen, on Thursday, figure out what time and what you want to do. Okay, but you know what I, but we have to get done. Right, we got, this is the only thing we got to be done on Thursday's meeting. And then you guys are leaving. Clear? Okay, I'll tell you right now, I'm going to ratchet this shit up. Lou ratcheting it up, I'm ratcheting it up. Okay? Lou's crazy, right? Who say we're Lou crazy? He going crazy, okay? I told you a story about my strength coach. They called him Satan, right? I never understood. Why do you not want to go into the season in the best physical condition that you could be in? You can't get in the best physical condition doing easy shit. Okay? Boxes of ho-hos and playing Fortnite do not make you a killer. Okay? You can think you're a killer all you want, but you're just not, you're not a killer. Okay? Alright, everybody understand it. I want you to take responsibility of the team now. Make sense? So who 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 didn't run well today? List of people didn't run well today. Who? Who's not running well? Come on, man. Yeah. Fuck you. It wasn't really. Hang on, hang on. Uh, Keith. Keith. Uh, Keith. 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 <laughs> It's not running well. Yeah, because it wasn't time. It wasn't time. It was like you answered and I was dead. It wasn't time. It was like you answered and I was dead. You run and finish it, bro, and it's hard. Are you the fucking leaders? Did you guys ask me what the fuck not finishing look good? No, 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 no. Like, no, 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 no. It was a rule, like just fuck your rules. Who, who, who on here needs to be back here? Who in here needs to be back here at four o'clock to get some extra work in? That's the question. Who in here needs to work extra tonight at four o'clock so that we can win fucking games in the fall? That's the fucking question. Cause it ain't gonna happen naturally. Keelan's fat ass ain't gonna get in shape, fucking with people hoping that he get in shape. Now granted, he only came back three pounds overweight. Fucking miracle. Okay? If you watch his highlight tape, he could possibly help us if he got his fat ass in shape. Okay? Remember what I said. Are you willing to move a freshman in your house, chain your fucking refrigerator up, and run his ass every fucking morning at four in the morning? Three in the morning. Right? You said you are. Right? So I told you, I'm going to call you on it. Because the bullshit's over. We don't win without you guys in this room dragging motherfuckers to the finish line. And if you think it's going to happen just because Lou on it and the head coach and all, it ain't going to happen unless you guys do it. Does that make sense? It's going to do two things. Two, it's going to get everybody in fucking shape and it's going to bring the team together. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? I'm not asking you to get on the bike for fucking 45 minutes, but I am asking you to stand there when that fat motherfucker's on the bike for 45 minutes. Yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? Everybody got that. So stop acting like it's fucking a, it's a mystery what the fuck has to happen. Okay, who's been a bowl game in here? Okay? Alright, you don't count. Okay. <laughs> who's been a bowl game in Illinois? Nobody. Okay? Who's went to who, fuck, who's had a winning season in Illinois? Nobody. Okay? Are we even close to doing the amount of work needed? No, we're slowly getting there. Okay, we're slowly getting there. Okay, here's what I'm fucking tell you. Can we go slow anymore? No. Okay, so that's why I told you. Like, I came in here, and I was like, I'm going to keep it calm. Okay? That shit went out the window when I saw the workout today. Because we're not even close to being ready. And it's going to take every fucking day, every hour, every person on this team, between now and the first game, to have a chance to get ready. Okay? We got two MAC teams and we play uh, UConn in the first game. Okay, you fuck around like you are right now, we'll be 0 and 3. Just to gonna tell you the truth. So think about that right now. Eastern Michigan beat who? And Rutgers. They beat Michigan State two years ago. Think about that. Okay, UConn's off. Okay, but they got a brand new defensive coordinator that Rod's only had a fucking like. Three touchdowns on supposedly. Okay? Uh, Akron has a Big Ten squad physically. You go look at the dudes. I, I watched them in 14. The cats at Akron that just got fired were recruiting savages. Tom Arth is a really good coach. They are going to be incredible this year. Mark my words. So if you don't start dragging people, which, let me tell you this one. We're going to start dragging people because I won't let you not drag nobody. You understand know what I'm saying? But you got to understand the sense of urgency. It's not we got two months until camp. It's fucking we got one second until we get our heads blown. Because as soon as you get that urgency, the urgency will permeate through the whole team and we'll be successful. Okay? That goes back to the classroom when the new kids get here. 
that goes back to fucking extra for the fat dudes. Okay? And if you're a fat dude, you need some extra, then shit, hey, I'll take the extra guys because I need the extra too. Okay, how much extra a day are you doing? 30 minutes. So it's easy for you to say, hey, I got fucking key in the day. You see what I'm saying? And then you're still going to show up because you're a fucking senior and you a senior and you a senior. Okay? All the seniors, like, you're going to do that shit because it's got to be important to you. Okay? Because we're not going to talk about what we have to do. We're going to start doing it. Everybody clear on that? 